Welcome back ladies and gentlemen and check it out guys we're here at the cryo rig so we gotta check out some really cool products some really new cool products actually coolers fans and heat sinks let's go check it out guys all right guys so this is the new R5 over here as you notice that the mechanics of uh, mounting this onto the motherboard is like very very different they call it the clip and click so hopefully if I can do this with one hand okay so we're just showing here that we're gonna take out the the CPU cooler so just unscrewing it and then we just gotta unclip it right that's very simple very very cool I really like the the, the the mechanics behind that it's so simple that consumers can just simply just snap it on and then screw it in and you're done right yeah right. that's very cool cool nice so that's the R5 and it's uh it's coming out on quarter three, right? If I remember correctly, um, the R5 comes in two colors. Actually, uh, if you buy the, the package, it will come in with white and black covers, right? Yeah. And this is uh, the successor to the R1. Uh, I would say the, this is uh, part of the flagship series. Um, the R1, uh, obviously, it is a uh, dual tower floor. Okay. So, but uh, we wanted to include a uh, single tower option for um, users that are using suppose uh, the X99, X299 uh, systems that have uh, front and back RAM, right. RAM slots. So um, with the R5, we wanted to, to have um, unlimited uh, RAM capacity yeah. that you could use, you know, tall RGB RAM without obstructing, you know, the, the fans and the heat sink. Okay. Yeah. yeah so it, it, it I, would, I wouldn't say it's a successor, but um, it's like on the same line of flagship products. Same line of flagship products. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thanks very much. No problem. No yeah. problem. Moving on to the next is cooler. So obviously this is probably one of the most famous low profile CPU cooler. This is the C7 RGB version guys. So yes, you heard me. This is a C7 RGB version. And of course uh, they've changed the, the blades to uh, more of a frosted version where um, you can see that there's a RGB like inner. And so like maybe like once you have like a a very dark case you can see the nice fan like spinning around with those really cool RGBs and as you can see here it comes with like two colors uh, one in white and also one in black which uh, of course everybody has their own tastes but uh, of course if you have a white build it'd be pretty cool having a white CPU cooler I mean the white version right and over here I think everybody knows quite well already there's a C7 copper version and man this is um, this is quite heavy to be honest. Just in case if you guys are not really familiar with the C7, I just want to stress out that this is a pretty pretty good low profile as you can see that this case is quite thin as you can see here super thin and so like you can definitely fit a C7 in there pretty cool eh? And, uh, moving on to here we have these really cool chromatic cooling coming soon so let's just jump right into it so as you can see here these are the fans but once they become in action they are addressable RGB fans so apparently um, you don't have to connect to the cam software anymore you can actually connect this I mean you can actually control this with the controller and it comes in two colors black and also as you can see here it comes in white as well and notice that the, the the LEDs they actually shine behind this ring as well so it gives kind of more of a, a floating action which looks pretty cool I do like it the cryorig frostbit everybody this is the M.2 NVMe SSD heatsink now the one uh, DNI awards which is pretty pretty good so congratulations to cryorig and as you can see here this is just like a, an example like um, once your M.2 SSD gets really hot you can add one of these in and uh, as you can see here this is a uh, M.2 there and then all you have to do is that mount it on the M.2 and apparently this swings too let's just uh, see if I can do this with one hand come on let it swing there you go so of course you can mount it on the motherboard just like this and uh, you can swing it up and down as well maybe I think you can lock it maybe it's probably locked oh yeah it's probably locked that's why I can't swing it but this one is not locked so but yeah my point is that like um, once your M.2 SSD gets really hot your fans can help out push it and it will just dissipate the heat if your m.2 ssd gets really hot this is probably worth checking out guys and last but not least guys this is what we are actually waiting for this is the h7 rgb so 
no sorry h7 ultra rgb so i guess uh this is um, an upgrade from the h7 the quad lumi but um the only big difference is that we get a uh, the the new fans and um everything else is pretty much the same we have uh, the rgb cryo rig over here and underneath the cpu cooler and um yeah guys it looks really really cool actually do you guys prefer the older one or do you guys prefer the 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 newer one so the h7 ultra rgb has krona 120 fans on it and um, definitely it adds a little bit more of a spice or more of a more of a rgb-ness to your rig so just like zooming out looking pretty good right if you put it in the nzxt case right there let's get some little bit more shots of this really beautiful cpu cooler everybody very nice i really do like it so I just want to show you quickly when it's not lit up. Um, yeah, so basically this is the same fan as the Corona 120. I really do like it once it's like connected to each other. I guess there's not much of a big difference. And as you can see here, there's like um, RGB strips underneath there. And yeah, guys, so I guess uh, this is pretty much it about the H7 Ultra RGB. All right, guys, so that was pretty much it about the cryo rig, and uh, I really do love the new products. I can't wait till the third quarter because they got to launch all that really cool stuff. And uh, yeah, guys, uh, if you do like this video or you do like the cryo rig products, don't forget to leave the thumbs up as well and subscribe and hit the notification bell. And i uh, see you guys in the next video. Later.